Hello everyone, welcome to your aviation channel, the Flying Note Center. Our topic is going to be about emergency procedures and emergency are situations where the life of the pilot and the crew on board and the passengers are at risk. Also at risk is the aircraft and the people below the aircraft. And this is a situation where the pilots need to be well prepared about because it can occur any time. While sometimes we can term the abnormal situations under emergency and every crew need to be well trained on this and this is why we're going to discuss about this. And the Mayday, Mayday, Mayday call is a, a call that is used by the pilot to inform the other air, uh, air crew and the air traffic controller that an aircraft is under emergency. And so what are the in, in situation that we have emergency? And this situation is that be calm, do not panic and maintain the control of the aircraft. And the number two is we need to assess the situation and take proper action. We are looking for the possible emergency, what has caused it, and take proper action uh, so that you can get out of that emergency. And the third one is learn as soon as possible or practicable. So we're going to exhaust this uh, under the, the three MAL acronym, which is used by the aviators. So the first uh, uh, letter M is basically about maintaining the control of the aircraft and the second one is assess the situation and take proper action and the third one learn as soon as possible or practicable we need to maintain the control of the aircraft do not panic and maintaining the control of the aircraft means that you should be in charge of the aircraft do not depart from the flying conditions assess the situation look for the possible cause of the emergency and check all your switches and take the proper action and the third one is because you are under emergency you need to land your aircraft as soon as possible or practicable practicable here I means that you possibly there's no place to land the aircraft and you're able to still control the aircraft therefore you need to select a field for a possible host landing Another topic of maintaining the control of the aircraft, what are our actions we need to uh, during takeoff? Therefore, we need to continue with the normal takeoff and uh, practice IFATO drills, which is engine failure after takeoff. If you are in the training area or en route, then knock the maneuver or wings level and then we'll make sure you fly a coordinated flight. The third one is uh, loss of thrust. You have to apply the three C's, which is just confirm that you've lost your, your, your throttle, the, your power, and then climb for to gain height, and then communicate, uh, talk to the ATC, declare an emergency using the Mayday, Mayday call. Immediately, you should apply the ball face, which are the immediate actions that we need to take after the, we've confirmed that we have emergency. Assess, analyze, and take proper action. What are we looking for? If we are, we have to look outside and inside for anything abnormal. Inside, we are confirming on our instruments and confirming that they are in the, their correct positions. And outside, maybe possible fire or uh, uh, propeller or running or any other uh, bad strike or uh, something of that sort. And then we declare the ball face. We declare the ball face where we have to take uh, the immediate actions and another uh, instrument that can help us ascertain what kind of a uh, situation we are in is the the warning panel which is the control warning panel which registers all abnormalities or emergencies on the panel and therefore we have to look outside and inside for anything abnormal and then we have to confirm with the appropriate switches connected to the warning uh, to the warning such as the engines electrics gears and flaps declare the ball face that is uh, if you've confirmed that this is the situation of the 
uh, emergency then we have to declare this the ball phase and the ball phase here i mean immediate actions which are in the pilot's operating handbook and then uh, confirm the ball phase if they worked and if not then apply subsequent actions and therefore you are planning for your recovery and possible emergency landing you need to contact your atc and uh, air traffic uh, services unit of your intention your position and level you are at so that even other airmen should be aware of what is going on in our man acronym is learn as soon as possible or practicable therefore we have to declare force learning or choose a suitable field for learning if uh, the situation calls for learning as soon as possible and also you can declare for a turn back if you have a, a emergency that you cannot continue with the flight and the third one is if you prepare for a force landing therefore we need to have emergency engine shutdown where applicable such as engine fire and engine failure we need to shut down such that even if we're departing the prepared surface therefore we cannot have engine fire and then the drill is you need to select nearest airfield or airport for a forced landing just remember always to the call mayday mayday means that people's life are at risk the pilot the aircraft itself and the people below because we don't really know where the aircraft is going to have a forced landing or crash and therefore these procedures are simple and the acronym is MAL maintain the control of the aircraft assess the situation analyze and take a proper action and then choose a suitable field to land that is land as soon as possible or practicable thank you very much for watching